What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you what I bring to a wedding. So this is probably one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. This is the Gator Works utility cart. And this is the all-terrain version, which has the bigger wheels. I have tried a couple other carts with smaller wheels and I used it one time. I pushed it through uh, grass and it broke. So if you're gonna get a cart like this, I definitely would tell you to get the bigger wheels. Even if you're gonna get a production cart, get the ones with the bigger wheels. Thank me later. By getting this, I'm able to put my C-stand on it, my sandbags, my tripod bags, and everything else. I'm able to do one trip from the car. Before I purchase this, I would have to take three and four trips to the car to load my gear up into the venue. Then at the end of the night, when it's time to go, I have to do another three or four trips to load all my gear up. Now I'm gonna break this down piece by piece and kind of show you everything I bring. For this particular setup, the only thing that I had to add to the cart were these accessory hooks. And these are by Lava Cart. And this holds my C-stand. Now, if you don't bring a C-stand, you don't need these. You can just put all your stands inside of like this big tripod bag. But when I'm doing photography, I like to use like a 47 inch softbox on my 8600. So I really want to use a C stand so it's nice and stable. I don't typically have an assistant to hold my light stand. So I wanted something that's big, stable. I can put sandbags on it and it's not going to fly away or fall over. All right, now let's break this down bag by bag and I'll show you everything that I bring. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Hollyland C1 Pro headsets. Now, I haven't always used headsets for my wedding videography and photography business, but the moment I used them for the first time, there was no going back. It just makes it super easy to communicate with my wife, which is the main photographer, or our assistants, or other videographers, or the other photographers that are also working with us. Now, this particular kit comes with uh, four headsets. So we typically only shoot with maybe one second photographer, and one second videographer. So the four headsets is perfect. It comes with additional batteries. So we're never gonna run out on a wedding day. And I mean, it just works great. I mean, super easy. I know like sometimes if my wife and the other videographer are in there with the bride and I'm with the groom and we're about to do a first look, we can kind of communicate so they're not seeing each other and we can set up super easy. The next thing we're gonna talk about is our flash. This is the Flashpoint Explorer 600. We use their strobe and we also use their on-camera flashes. We recently just picked up the 350 mini flash. It's a really small on-camera flash. We wanna give that a shot just so there's a lot less weight on our camera when we're doing the prep section. So this is the Explorer 600. This is gonna give us enough power so when we're shooting those family photos after the ceremony, to be a 6.3, get everybody in focus. And if we're taking portraits outside, we have enough power to overpower the sun. We also have these gels. So if it's during sunset, I can gel my flash so all the color temperatures match. Now this back here is the iFootage 35 liter. This is gonna go with me everywhere I go. Now let's open this bad boy up and see what's all in here. When we open this up, <laughs> I have all my miscellaneous stuff like my color checker passport, SD card holder. I have some 3.5 millimeter microphone cables. I have my Ulanzi fans. This is their older model, which is really nice. Now this is their newer model, which is like an ultrasonic something. I don't really know how it works, but this thing is amazing. This is the battery for it. So you just put that on there and it gives it power but as soon as you turn this on, the back of this thing is ice cold. So if you're filming with the A7 IV or ZV-E1 and they typically overheat, you can film all day if you have this. In this top compartment, I have all my spare batteries. I got the batteries for the A7 series and I also have the batteries for my A6300. All right, so inside the bag, um, this is gonna be what we're gonna be using for our on-camera speed light. This is the Flashpoint Zoom R2 mini flash. Now, I really like this because it's small and compact, but you can't control it as easy for your strobes and stuff, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I just wanted something a little bit lighter and smaller for on camera. I got my Sigma 85 millimeter F1.4. These are our extension tubes. So basically this is gonna give me a macro lens. Now, 
I only use a macro lens for like one shot, like the rings or the details. So I didn't want to spend 900 to a thousand bucks for that one lens. So we just got these extension tubes instead. This is my a6400 with my Sony 70 to 200 F4 lens. We use this during the ceremony to get a side angle. We got my Tamron 17 to 28. This is an F 2.8 lens. We use that to get all our wide establishing shots. We have our Rode Wireless Pros here. These are wireless lapel mics. This comes with a receiver, two transmitters, and it's 32 bit float. So you just press the record button and you're gonna have crystal clear audio and you can adjust the levels however you want. This also comes with lav mics if you wanna plug lav mics into it. This is a little case I got from Amazon. This holds my Tascam DR10Ls. I have three of them uh, for the couple and for the officiant. I have my leg sleeve, so if I wanna mic the bride, she has a dress on, I can mic her up. This is my Lawa 15 millimeter zero D lens. So this lens is not gonna have any distortion. So I'm gonna typically use this for video. This is a manual focus lens. So when I'm doing those wide establishing shots, it can look really nice, but it won't have that distortion. In photography, you can correct it, but for video, you wanna make sure you have a lens that's not gonna give you that distortion. I have another A6400, and this is me for the other side angle. I got these two USB power banks for the A6400s, so they don't run out of power during the ceremony. This is the new Flashpoint trigger. It's all digital. This is the R2 Nano. It's pretty neat. I like it. We have the Aperture MC light. This is a really cool light. It's got the diffuser on it, so it can diffuse the light. We can use these for rings. I use this during the reception to have a little bit of feel light. We have the Sony ZV-E1. I absolutely love this camera. It has the same sensor as the Sony A7S III, so it's amazing in low light. But look how small this thing is. And I have this paired with the Sony 24 to 105 F4 lens, and this has image stabilization, so that makes it really nice. And I typically use this on the tripod for that second angle if I'm doing like a first look, because I'm filming, typically I'm filming by myself. So if I'm doing my first look, I'm gonna be following the action, but then I have this secondary angle for another shot. I have the new Magma gels and grids. And then for photography, we use the Sony a7 IV, and we have that paired with the Tamron 35 to 150 F2 to 2.8 lens. Now, this is by far our favorite lens. I got this bad boy when it first came out. I sold all of my lenses and I purchased this. And typically my wife can use this all day long and then we'll use that 85 1.4 for those specialty shots. So that's everything in this bag. So this is my other bag. This is also eye footage. I absolutely love it. This is the roller bag and I'm using this to store my A7S III and my gimbal and because this bag is so big, I can leave all of that stuff fully rigged out and I can just pull it out of the bag and I'm ready to go. That's gonna save me a lot of time on the day of the wedding. Typically, I would have to get there, build my whole camera up, put my gimbal together, balance it, and it takes a lot of long time. So in the front pocket here, of course, can't leave home without business cards. I got this blower from Ulanzi to clean my lenses. Works really good if you have dust. I have another blower, had this for a long time. This one's really good too, because it has this little furry stuff here so you can clean your lenses off. I got lens wipes. I got a lens pen. I have this Falcam backpack clip. I can put this on my backpack. Typically I'm putting this on my waist and then like the Sony ZV-1, I'll snap this to my waist if I just need to have it handy. I got my small rig multi-tool. We got a bunch of rechargeable batteries. On the outside of the bag, this is my audio bag. So inside of it, I got headphones so I can listen to audio when I'm micing up to the DJ system. I got my Zoom F3. This is also 32-bit float audio. I use this to plug into the DJ system. Let me go over all of these audio cables. If you get all of these cables that I have here, you'll never run into a problem. I have the Zoom F3. I have this small rig clamp here and I screw that in here. 
and then I have this clamp from Yuyu Rig. And so the DJ speaker, it typically is on be on a pole. So I would just put this right on that pole and tighten it up. And this is gonna live right on the DJ speaker. I have one XLR cable. This is like three feet. I have another XLR cable. This one's a lot longer. And then I have a really long XLR cable. Now, the reason why I have these additional XLR cables is a lot of weddings I go to, there'll be a DJ and there'll be a band. So with the Zoom F3 having two XLR inputs, I can plug into the DJ speaker because a lot of times he'll have the mics, but then I also can plug into the band system because a lot of times they're doing music on a separate system. I have a spare leg strap here. That way if we're doing a same sex wedding, I can mic both of the brides up. So you're gonna need all of these adapters so you can always plug up wherever you go. So I got XLR to RCA. I got XLR to mic jack. I got quarter inch to mic jack. I got quarter inch to XLR. And then I have XLR to XLR. If you have all of these adapters, you can plug up into any DJ system. And I also got these bags from Amazon. I mean, this is really nice. It makes it so I can organize my gear and keep up with it. And then it has this little clip so I can clip this right to the outside of the bag and I don't have to use space inside of the bag. So inside here, we have this new camera strap that we're gonna be using. This is the spider holster. And then on the other side of it, I have this nice little bag that I got from Amazon again. And when you open this up, it has two batteries for my A74, and you can also put memory cards here. So, I mean, this is really nice. Now, I really like this spider holster because we typically use like a whole fast or imitation of a whole fast. But what we found is a lot of times our cameras are swinging, hitting stuff. When my wife is setting up the detail shots, she'll bend down and now the camera and the flash is just all over the place. So we just don't really like the idea of that anymore. This is just gonna go right on your hip. And then this slides in there really nice and you can just pull it straight up. So she doesn't really have to press any buttons or anything. She slides it in there. She wants to take it out, it slides right out. Now, if you do want to lock it, you can use this little lever here to lock it, but we just use it open all the time and you can slide it in and slide it out. We also have the F38 plate on it. So if some reason she needed to get a video shot for me, she can just put that right on the tripod and film right away. So yeah, I absolutely love this. It's just super nice, easy and compact. And the day after the wedding, like your shoulders and back, you're not like all aching and have all that pain. Like this hat, this feels really good. There's no weight on your neck and shoulders. And then on this other side, like I said, I got my batteries and they also make a dual harness. So if you do shoot with two cameras, you can put both cameras on your hips and they also have like a lens holder. So if you want to keep a spare lens on you, you can also put that to the belt as well. Got my gimbal. This is the RS3 Pro. Let me set this up. So goes on the stand here. This is my small rig side handle. So this is how quick I can set up once I get to the wedding. I just snap that in there, open this up, open that up. I have this ZG Cine 50 watt hour battery on the bottom of this. That way I can leave my camera on all day long. I never have to turn it off. And I only use one Sony battery for the entire wedding. All right, so I mean, you saw how quick I set the gimbal up. Now for my camera, I literally pull the whole thing out. I slide it onto the gimbal and I'm ready to shoot. So it doesn't get much simpler than that. Let's break down this camera rig. So on the front of this, I have the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon mat box system. So this allows me to have the mat box and a VND filter. And this goes from three stops to six stops, but then you can crank it to get nine stops of ND. So super easy and compact. And what's really nice about this system is you adjust the ND from the back, which makes it super easy. Typically you gotta adjust it in the front and it's hard to get to. By being having this in the back, you just spin it and you're good to go. 
I have my Rode VideoMic NTG on the top of the camera. This is gonna give you really great audio. I have the Rode Wireless Pro receiver right here. I have this gear ring so I can mount my DJI focus motor to my lens and I'm actually using that to control the zoom. In order to mount this to the cage, I had to get this NATO rail adapter and then I had to get this special rod because this is like really weird. It goes from like uh, 15 millimeters down to like nine millimeters. So this is literally like the only rod that works for this focus motor. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I have this Rode wireless receiver mounted to my shock mount. This is Kalos Pike mic back. So this is 3D printed and it gives you this extra mount on the back of your shock mount. So you can just clip your wireless receiver there. This has the Tamron 28 to 75. This is my workhorse for videography. Now, if I would start today and I didn't have this lens, I probably would get that new Sony 28 to 70 F2 lens. But because I already have a 28 to 75, I don't really see myself selling this and getting that. But if you didn't have anything, I definitely would go with that lens. This is all mounted inside of the Ulanzi Falcam F38 F50 cage. And then I have their plate in the bottom. So that can go right onto my gimbal. Then the only other thing I have inside of the bag is a spare mic. That's the video mic go to. DJI Air 2S drone with the controller and some spare batteries. This is my tripod bag. I have all my light stands and tripods and my V-mount batteries in this bag. These are the Zyum Molas X60s. They're super small and compact. It comes with these little reflectors, which are amazing, and I can diffuse the light. And it comes with these batteries, which last for like 45 minutes or an hour. And then I put uh, V-mount batteries on top of that so I can have power for the entire reception and possibly a ceremony if that needs to be lit. I use these V-mount batteries to power it. These will last for like five or six hours on full power. These are amazing. For prep, I use this Ulanzi light. This small light is a 120 watt light. And then I use this Ulanzi V99 V-mount battery. And what I really like about this light is this battery just clips right onto the back of it. And you still have a small form factor, but now I can produce that nice soft light for prep if I don't have any available window lighting. Then I have this Ulanzi soft box. As you see, the soft box is pretty small and compact and it folds flat. This is Bowen's mount. And all you do for this is you just pull this back and that locks in place and it gives you nice, soft, beautiful lighting. And then to unlock it, you just pull that up. Oh, that was weird, but uh, just pull that up and um, it unlocks it. All right, for that 8600 that I had, I used a Glow Pair Snap, soft box for it. And it's the same, similar design. This lays flat. You just open this up. And once again, this one, you kind of just shake it out a little bit. The bigger they are, it's a little bit harder, but boom, this snaps together. This is a lot bigger. This is a lot bigger and softer. I use this for the family photos and for portraits of the couple and the bridal party. This to unlock, this has this little button back here and that just unlocks it. I leave the uh, diffuser and everything connected to it so I can set it up really quick. And if you guys are wondering what this is, I have my iPhone 13 Pro hooked up to the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. That's what I'm actually filming this whole video on. And this is going into my OC Megamon 15S, just so I can see what I'm doing, make sure everything looks okay. Then this is my big boy tripod. This is the Ulanzi Video Fast tripod. So I can just 
let that down and it lets the whole leg down super fast and it's really strong i'm filming the processional so once that's over and everybody comes down i go to the back of the ceremony i have this lane on the back aisle i pick it up this is a video fast tripod so it opens up really easily i take my gimbal i'll slide that on there and lock it in now i'll zoom this shot in about 28 35 Nice wide shot, 5.6, 6.3, everything is in focus. Then I'll have my ZVE1 on my hip. I'll take it and then I'll put that right there. I'll frame that up, lock that in. And now I'll have this zoomed all the way in. And I'll have that at 105 at f4 or 85 millimeters at f1.4 and then i'll have this at 5.6 or 6.3 so everything's in focus that one's going to give me my shallow depth of field shot so i have another ulanzi tripod this is the ulanzi video go nice carbon fiber compact video head tripod this is really nice and ulanzi is doing a really good special i think it's gonna be everything's 20 percent off um, but don't hold me to that, but I'll insert the flyer here so you can go pick up some of this stuff for the Black Friday sale. This is another Ulanzi tripod. This is a Ulanzi and Coleman um, F38 tripod, but I have this video head on here actually. It came with a photography head, but I put the video head on here. I have a shoot through umbrella just in case. I'll typically use this light for the exit. And then this is just my Sioux Photo tube light. It's really nice, nice soft light. This is RGB. You can change it to 3200 Kelvin. You can change it to 5500 Kelvin. So whatever you want to do, you can do it with this light. And it's small and compact, so I can hold my gimbal with my right hand, and then I can hold this with the other hand just to light the couple up for the exit. I have a C8 cheetah stand. And then I have two C10 cheetah stands. So that's everything that I bring with me to a wedding day. So I'll have all this gear listed below in the description. And if you have any questions, just drop a comment below and I'll make sure I get back to you. And once again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give me a like and thumbs up and all that good stuff.